What up, YouTube? Bigelow, Big Luis Coach Review, back again with another review, and today we're here to do a little review. Actually, no, today we're not going to be doing a review. Today we're going to be discussing and showing vape mail from around the world. I've been saying it for about a year now. I'm going to be looking for mech mods and devices that other countries offer that will soon be available to everyone, or if not, they are already available to everyone out there. Now, I'm going to be opening two packages from the mail package, but the rest I'm just going to be displaying because I've been receiving them uh, not all in one day. I get one, you know, here and one there, you know. Sometimes uh, shipping can take some time from places like Russia or Kuwait or Taiwan. You know, sometimes it has to get through customs and you have to pay uh, a booking agent or you got to get a broker uh, to, you know, to bring it into this country and so forth. So sometimes it can take some time getting some of these devices. But with that being said, I want to show you guys what I've been actually getting, you know, because there's a lot of cool shit out there that many of you may not even know, you know. So two devices are going to be a surprise for me because I'm going to open them right here and right now. The rest is stuff that I've been accumulating over time. You know, I got devices from Italy. I got devices from um, Taiwan, uh, but, but authentics. This is all authentic stuff. No clones, no replicated you know, authentic Chinese, which is now a thing because China is not just cloning devices. Now they're authenticating mechanical tube mods made of high quality metals that are purchased for either from the United States or Germany. So there's a lot of people doing a lot of cool things out there. So, you know, a good majority of people, they jump on a bandwagon and be like, dude, fuck Fuck China, fuck clones, fuck this, fuck that. But, you know, there's a lot of product out there, especially Canada. I got product from Canada as well, so we're going to be displaying that as well. So uh, let me jump right into it and go ahead and start talking about what I received, okay? So one item that I've gotten is straight out of Canada, and this is a company by the name of Triple Six. Uh, I believe Fogwind Vapor Co. is out of Canada. I could be wrong. But I'm pretty sure they're out of Canada. It's a badass 30 mil tank, a uh, 30 millimeter tank, uh, adjustable airflow, big top fill holes, two threaded tops, black Delrin and stainless steel, long chimney with tall glass, lots of MLs, uh, short chimney with shorter glass, a bit less MLs, and a bunch of extra thingies, whatever. Okay, so this is the box, and it's called the Mister Tank. No, it's not Mr. T on the box, if you think about it, all right? It looks like Mr. T, but it's just not. It's a, by a company by the name of Triple Six. You can notice there's three sixes in a circle there. So Triple Six, and it says, I pity the fool, you know, on the box itself, which is actually kind of funny, but it's actually a really massively large fucking tank. I mean, this tank is gigantic. I got, like, big baseball gloves for hands, okay? This is a huge fucking tank. Comes with extra O-rings, extra parts, and so forth. Comes with two extra glasses, uh, an extra drip tip. Uh, actually, two extra drip. Or actually, another chimney. It has like a chimney extension. Or uh, Well, actually, I have the bigger chimney in here already with the bigger glass. But it comes with a whole plethora of stuff. And if anybody wants to view the deck, I'm just going to take this apart real quick okay we got a pulseless deck two air flows you can put two sick uh two sick coils in here basically you got massive airflow nice adjustable airflow as well on the side um really really nice tank i can't wait to use it actually um i just put this back together Got very fine threads. Okay. All right. So that's on. And this is going back together. Huge tank, though. Huge, huge, huge. And I can't wait to use it. Little whistle on it if you open it all the way. But you know what? 
I can't wait to use it on one of my bigger fucking boxes so I could throw a sick, sick build in there. And the one that I got is brass. I got the brass version, which I think is pretty cool, you know. Uh, next up on the list is another opened item, but I've been using these devices. Now, when I, when I say I do these reviews, it takes time to do the reviews. It's true. I actually use the product, okay? So that's why there's a huge gap in me doing videos. A lot of people just get product and they review it the day they get it. You know, I do that with regulated devices because there's not much to say about a regulated. Does it work? Does it get hot? Does it short circuit? Does it this? Does it that? That's all you need to know about regulated devices. But mechanical mods, you know, you have to use them on a daily basis. You have to go through them and see what's so good about them. Does it get a hot button? Does the tube get insanely hot? Do I have to stop every now and then and pause in my vaping so this way, uh, you know, I don't vent the battery. There's a lot that comes, you know, involved with a mechanical tube mod. Even though it's just a tube, there's a lot about it. You know, the ergonomics, the feel, the, you know, the weight of it. Everything is an important role as far as reviewing mechanical tube mods. Now, next on the list is three devices I got from the Iron Smith Mod Group. Okay. So, this... The Iron Smith Mechanical Mod. I got three of them. I got one in stainless, one in brass, one in copper. I've mainly been using the copper and the stainless. Believe it or not, the stainless is fucking dope. Okay? I really, really like the stainless one. Okay? I have not used the brass yet, but I'm going to show you what it looks like. Okay? So this one is copper okay now this one's patinaed so you're gonna see that it's patinaed because i have been using it and uh it's definitely gotten a lot of usage and it does fire really nicely but here is the mechanical tube mod a lot of people off the bat are like dude that's a circus mod blah 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 okay whatever all right well there's gonna be always haters out there saying this looks like this this looks like that it, it is much different than the comp life device it does have a nice switch ample venting silver plated contacts uh, fires really nicely really nicely good throw in the button the whole nine yards i'm going to do review discussing these as well so just be patient it's coming uh but for the most part it is a very nice mechanical tube mod the button on here very nice button good throw in the button i have no complaints uh, but it comes in in copper brass and stainless okay so that's not bad at all. But for those of you who like a good stainless mod, this is one of those companies that offers a good stainless without any hot button. So that's good. Zero hot button on a stainless. That's like rare to find, okay? The only stainless steel mechanical tube mod that I came across that doesn't get a hot button is a high on, okay? They're stainless steel mechanical tube mods and they hit really fucking hard and they don't get a hot button. But the Ironsmith mechanical mod, really nice, okay? So I'll have a review on all three devices discussing my likes and dislikes of these mechanical tube mods. Be patient, it's in the works, it'll happen, okay? Now, another one that I got, which was also part of my opening, is this company right here. Now, this company is called T S mods okay like uh thomas simpson mod okay hashtag ts mod they're a company out of italy that came out with two mechanical tube mods but they have a plethora of different looks to the two now this is the dragon 24 and i really really like the dragon 24 i've been using it on a daily it's my in my daily rotation it just cooks listen to that just insane that's a brass mod holy shit you know so it's insane how well and hard this thing hits it's got a floating button with a magnet which i like because it's reminiscent of a lot of mods out there that came out in the past but um you know it's got a removable top so the top 510 is a removable top 510 uh, it is brass. This one's called the Dragon 24. It starts out at 27 millimeter and tapers its way down to 24 millimeter. So it's almost kind of like a cone shape. You know, it's almost like a cone shape. And I really, really dig this mod. It's just a four millimeter difference from 
here. Oh, no, I'm sorry, a three millimeter difference from the bottom versus the top. But you feel that three millimeter in your hand when you're holding it, you know. It's got nice weight, really thick walls of the mechanical tube. You can see it's very, very thick. We have a floating button with a magnet in there, uh, silver plated magnets, and it just fucking fires like all day, all night. Hits really nice. Never gets warm on me. I got such a low build in here. I got a .07 Alien Clapton done by Mike Sloan. Shout out to Mike Sloan for these fucking mech aliens. Ridiculous. Bro, you you just fucking blew me away with these coils. These coils are ridiculous. Uh, he did an act extra wrap on them. He gave them to me as five wrap. But I actually unwrapped one of the wraps. So it's I'm actually at four wrap instead of five. I think he was just trying to keep it safe, but I went lower, so I went lower in resistance. And the thing just fucking cooks. So, I mean, they just snap, crackle, and pop. They're just amazing. Now, that's one mod. That's a Dragon 24, and I really, really like the Dragon 24. I think the Dragon 24 is just fucking awesome. But next up on the list is another one from them, which says on it, just like a breath. Just like a breath, okay? And this is... The number 25 okay this is the number 25 it's the lightest weight mechanical tube mod i've ever held it's aluminum it's got this carbon graphite sleeve on it which is also removable and i have not used it yet it's still in the package and i'm going to use it soon and i'm going to be reviewing it but so far from what i've seen out there from the italian people out there um oh and the guy who owns this company's name is uh Michele, Michele Tofanin, I think his name is, and um, Michele, he basically, uh, Michele means Michael, just in case anybody wants to know. So Michele uh, just started this company not too long ago, and he's getting a lot, a lot of visuals from people all over the globe. So a lot of people are saying it's the lightest weight mod they've ever held, and yet it's the hardest hitting fucking mod they ever held. So he included a little uh, note in there for me, and he says, Important notice. The weight specified on the box is for brass edition. The real weight of this mod is anodized aluminum is 49 grams in weight. Okay? So the box says one thing, but uh, this was for a brass mod. So it, the, the weight is for a brass mod. Okay? Uh, materials used... Uh, anti corridor aluminum okay and then central disc is 24 karat gold plated because it's a, a floating pin it's a floating button so therefore it comes with a plate with a magnet that sticks to the battery and that's made of 24 karat gold and there's a magnet in there and then in the button itself there's also a magnet okay and it says and remember this mod is proudly made by those crazy Italians that's what he wrote in a note. So he said this mod is made by crazy Italians. And I got to tell you, the Italian people are fucking crazy when it comes to mechanical tube mods. We're all about, I mean, I'm Italian. I'm crazy about mechanical tube mods. So, you know, we're all fucking psychotic when it comes to mechanical tube mods. We want the hardest hitting mechanical tube mod. And by fucking yeah, hell yeah, this is, a, this I'm sure. I know I've witnessed how hard this thing hits. So fucking gorgeous right there. Uh, another mechanical tube mod coming straight out of Canada is this company right here called, um, sorry, Norseman Mod, uh, NorsemanModCo.com, okay? Now, it comes in this cool little side holder thing. I guess it's like a belt loop holder or something, or maybe it's just a case, but it comes with this bamboo tube, which I thought was pretty cool. It comes with a bamboo tube comes with certificate of authenticity it's autographed i have number 11 and actually like the design of the button a lot and it reminds me of a h stone mod it just kind of reminds me of an h stone because it splits in the center and it's got the same almost the same kind of switch but instead of it having the uh, looks of an H stone like this is an H stone right here and it has this little you know groove here and this groove here and this is a company straight out of Italy okay but um 
The Norseman mod, I mean, this one splits in the center. So you got the thread in the center, top 510 hybrid, really nice switch at the bottom. Very soft throw in the switch. I like that on this mod, you know. Usually I like very hard throws on a mod, very stiff throws. But this has got a copper contact down below. You can see it's a flathead contact, so you could easily remove it. Uh, ease of use is there. It actually has a lot of weight to it. It's actually pretty heavy. It's solid brass. And I have number 11, which is actually pretty cool for me. I'm happy to see that I have serial number 11, which is a low serial number. But it fires really nice when you have a um, battery in there with an RDA. I mean, this is just really nice. Um, as far as width-wise, let's see. See how wide this is. Pretty sure it's 24. I just like to confirm just to make sure. It might be bigger than 24. Okay, this one's about 25.5 millimeters in diameter. So it's a little wider than your normal 24 millimeter uh, device, but it actually fires very nice. It's a hard hitter as well. It's a nice brass mechanical mod hailing out of Canada. So shout out to uh, Norseman mods over here. This is just fucking great. Okay, so yeah, the NorsemanModCo.com. Check them out. I'm sure you'll find something you like on there. Now, another mod that I did a little flash on last night in my uh, Rouleau video is the MCM um, MCM Mods Underground, Underground Mods, okay? Now, this is a resin series mechanical box, okay? It's got a silver plate at the bottom. That is a silver plated brass at the bottom. And up top, we got brass accents with a nice uh, Ultim button. And it fires like a son of a bitch, okay? I got sitting up top my Elite version 2, 28.5 millimeter. It's got a slight, very slight bit overhang on it, which is fine. I don't really care. It's like a hair. Uh, it doesn't sit flush on there, which I'm okay with, by the way. It doesn't bother me at all. There's other adaptions, uh, adapters you could put on here to make it look and work better for you. I'm going to have a whole full-blown review on this very soon. Just be patient. But it's got this nice brass badge in the center, and the resin colors are really nice. This will run you about $180. This was $180. Money well spent, well deserved, well needed. Fucking hits nice, too. Whew. 8.4 volts series pure brain damage awesome nice little venting on the side just in case if you need venting if this device were to vent on me it's made of resin so i imagine the outcome wouldn't be so pretty uh let's see another device we could talk about another device now oh, i got more devices around here somewhere uh now i think that's it nope ah yeah we got this bad boy right here, hailing out of Kuwait, by the way. Okay, so this one's out of Kuwait. The Icaros. Icaros. This is a mechanical tube mod I had my eye on for a while. Uh, it's made by a company by the name of uh, Coil965, I believe. And uh, this guy is a coil builder out of um, Kuwait. Okay, so he's a coil builder out of Kuwait. And he made me this mechanical tube mod with my name on it, which I thought was pretty cool. It's production number 00, zero version 1. And it shows the date June of 2017 with his autograph on it. Okay. Uh, this is the Kairos Collection Edition designed and handcrafted by Coil965. Anybody interested in picking up this mechanical tube mod, hit him up. That's his phone number right there. And his Instagram, Coil965. Now, for the showing of this mechanical tube bot, oh boy, this thing is gorgeous. First of all, I love the way he's got it displayed. I mean, look at that. That's just gorgeous right there. That's just beautiful packaging. You guys always hear me talk about packaging. This is why, okay? This guy not only put a mechanical tube mod in here, also included like Cosmonet styled uh, RDA in here with the coil build in it already with cotton, okay? And it has a separate spot for his button. The button is fucking gorgeous. 
flat head silver uh, contact in the center uh, nice throw in the button very nice throw recessed button as well you don't need to lock it or anything like that also he gave me I don't know what the fuck these things are but holy shit they're very artistic and beautiful looking coils they have like I don't know like 10 cores in it or some shit I, I, I don't even know how to explain what these coils are but they're just like artwork. I'm almost afraid to use them, okay? Because I don't want to ruin them, you know? But they're just beautiful looking coils. And this is a brass mechanical tube on. It's just the threads on it. Threads are perfect. Mine says Big Lou on the top. I don't know if you guys can see it or not. But it says Big Lou up there right under that vent hole. Uh, beautiful, beautiful mechanical tube mod. Feels great in the hand. It's it's going to be, this is going to be such a gorgeous setup with the RDA on top of it. I mean, it's just beautiful, you know, beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. I mean, if I throw the RDA on this now, if it sits on it just perfectly, like flush, okay? So, yeah, so I have a postless style deck up top. It looks just like the, um, the Cosmonaut. I think it is a Cosmonaut, actually, but um, he's got this cap on it. It's just beautiful. Look at that. That's a gorgeous setup. I'm going to get a nice gold-plated or brass drip tip to fit up here. It's got the uh, goon-style drip tip up top, so fit any of your goon-style drip tips up there. This says Article CSMNT. Yeah, MNT version 1, uh, 06165. And then on the opposite side, it says... DSX MMC 2016. So I guess it is a Cosmonaut RDA, but whoa, that's just fucking beautiful right there. That's just such a work of art. Can't wait to review that as well. So just, you know, sit tight. Reviews are going to be coming very, very soon, very shortly. Um, I know I've been spreading them out, you know, but like I said, I got to keep things fair to you guys. I got to. You know, I got to use the devices, you know, and, and the comp trust me, the companies lose their fucking minds when I don't deliver on time for them. Because like, dude, where's my fucking review? I'm like, listen, I got to use this shit, man. I got to use it. You know, I can't fucking tell people to go out and buy something if I don't like it. You know what I mean? Because then it makes me look like a dick. I don't want to be made to look like a dick to anybody. But holy shit, this fucking company, super impressive amazing and beautiful amazing work thank you so much for this device i didn't pay for this device this device was given to me so this was a gift and what a fucking gift it is oh my god cannot wait to start using that that's gonna be sick okay next on the list is actual vape mail this is from russia with love it's got that crazy russian writing on the bag that you can't understand shit so let's open it up I have no idea what it is or what it could be. It's actually wrapped up really nicely. A lot of bubble wrap. Could be a mech. Could be an RDA. Could be anything. I have no idea. Okay. So, let's see. Ooh. Very nice. <gasps> it's a thunder. What? It's an L Thunder. What? It's an L Thunder. <laughs> I've been waiting and waiting and waiting for this device to come out. Wow. Look at that. First of all, bamboo wood. Look at that. Thin. And the way it, it just, that's just fucking dope right there. That's just really fucking cool. So it's got this piece of leather rope, basically, where you tighten it up like this. So you wrap one side over there, and then wrap the other side, and that shit is closed. So that's pretty cool. Unravel this, and then open this, and instantly, what do I see? I see, I guess it's a silver plated contact, it's just sitting there, okay, what, 
Okay, I'm super, super excited about this. <gasps> Just what I wanted! Yeah, motherfucker! Okay, now it sits in this beautiful, beautiful box, wood box. It's the wood tube, actually. You guys, awesome, awesome packaging. Awesome packaging. Very nice. Okay, now they got a very different kind of switch. You guys always hear me talk about switches. Well, here you go. Have you ever seen a fucking switch like this? I doubt it. I don't even know how to fucking work this thing. I still got to use this shit. So I'm going to need a little time on figuring out how to work this thing. I, I don't even know how to take it apart. But that's okay. Because Big Lou's going to learn. Oh, I see, I see. Okay. Wow. Okay. Wow, that's cool. So this is the top portion of the tube. And the switch, this is the switch, it fits in there. You can see we have a silver a silver contact up there with this piece of Delrin with a spring. Okay, that's fucking dope. You take this, fit this in nice and snug around those brass prongs. That's cool. So the battery will go in. And then that's it. They give you an extra contact. So that's an extra contact I got. Wow. Wow. Beautiful mechanical mod. L Thunder. Look at that shit. Hybrid. Brass. Nice button. Wow. Wow. <laughs> I'm going to use this shit right now. This is fucking cool. What? Yo, seriously? What? Damn. Damn. El Thunder? Damn. That is a cool fucking mech mod. Wow. That is fucking cool. I mean, don't get me wrong. I love my I Icarus. I love my Dragon 24. You know, these are all favorite mechanical tube mods of mine. And I love each and every single one of them. And holy shit, each one just blows me away. All very impressive mechanical tube mods. And let me tell you, people out there say, oh, it's a niche market, blah, blah, blah. No, it ain't. It's a smart market. Buying mechanical tube mods is a smart market. Because you know why? They will never fucking break down on you. All you got to get is a new battery. Big deal. You know, there's no chipsets, no computer components, nothing that's going to burn out on you. Just pure power. Pure power. This fucking Dragon 24. Damn. All these mechanical tube mods I'm talking about here. Damn. Just holy shit. Holy shit. Oh. We got one more package to talk about. Straight out of motherfucking Taiwan. Mm, open this some bitch up. Mm, mm, mm. Oh, okay. Nice. I got me a new Scorpion mod. They didn't ask for it. They just sent it, I guess. That's pretty fucking cool. Nice. They must have liked my review I did on it. So we got Scorpion Mod. Not the old school version that looked like a nemesis, but the Scorpion Mod. If you check my recent video uploads, you'll notice I did a review on a mod called the Scorpion. Nice. They gave me organic Japanese cotton. Or is it? Yeah, it is Japanese organic cotton. Eight pads and it says Scorpion Organic Cotton, which to me looks just like puffs it looks just like puffs cotton to a t could be puffs i don't know but if you don't have access to cotton and you live in taiwan hey scorpion cotton all right yeah yeah yeah. Let's see. Ooh, nice box. 
Beautiful packaging. Ooh, very nice packaging. I think, oh yeah, let me just fix that shit because I just kind of fucked it up a little. Okay. No, I fucked that shit up some. Oh, there we go. Now, this reminds me of a magical box, okay? It says, we are providing vapors up to a whole new level and intoxicating experience as our name Scorpion Mods. They put it in this glass box where it says Scorpion in the background. I think that's pretty cool. But this is their newest release mechanical tube mod. So, ooh, it's got some nice weight to it. Really nice weight. Okay, removable top 510. Okay, you got a removable top 510. Ooh, nice button. Okay, I see what they did here. Okay, nice copper ventilated button. It has a lock on it. Okay, a little old schoolish with the lock. Wow, very small throw. Okay, this is the button on it. Copper, look at all that fucking vent holes and shit. Beautiful, and it's got this threat it's got this button lock on it where you turn very heavy holy shit this fucking thing is heavy but wow oh nice the logo and the button so they got the scorpion logo on the bottom so i think that's pretty cool you can see that i hope it says scorpion that's pretty fucking dope that's pretty nice holy shit does this the tube itself is light the button is fucking heavy. Holy shit, the button is heavy. That's a heavy ass fucking button right there. Okay. And it has a sleeve, just in case you haven't caught that. There is a sleeve on here. And it is a scratch proof sleeve that the one they've been talking about. It does get marked, but it's like a chalk a chalkboard finish. Very nice throw in the button. Very nice design in the button. Very, very good job. I like the thread lock on here. Oh, and they put Big Lou on there. Wow, I didn't even see that. It says Big Lou. Awesome. Thank you, Scorpion Mod. That's very nice of you. Just in case I forget my name. That's awesome, you know. Uh, but it has this thread lock on it. That's cool. All right. So you got the button lock on it. Nice. Nice 510. We're going to do up close and all that other shit on here. That's going to be pretty cool. Oh, and they give you an authenticity card, and mine is the Big Lou type. Look at that shit. It says type Big Lou. And it's a card. It's just like a credit card. So that's your authenticity card. It's like a credit card. So that is pretty fucking cool. I got to say, that is pretty awesome. Nice. Very nice design. Very nice packaging. Very well done, Scorpion Mods. Very well done. And that's it. That's all I can talk to you guys about today. That's about it. So I have no other vape mail to discuss. I don't get a lot of vape mail. But when I do, I like to gradually build it up. You know what I mean? So if I can gradually build, we go from there. So we got a lot of mech mod reviews up and coming. Oh, and don't forget, up and coming again is the Angry Cloud Mechanical Mod. This is the anger, Angry Vapor Cloud angry uh cloud vape oh this is cloud vape company that's who it is angry cloud Va yeah angry cloud vape company sorry very good mechanical tube mod as well in copper i think it's going to start with this one and then we'll progress and i still got to talk about the oggi by uh sgs mods i still have to talk about the tvl mod this is my tvl stacked i've used that quite a lot um, still got to talk about the Aventador parallel box that's up and coming. Still got to talk about American box mods. Okay. ABM box mods. Still got to talk about this company. This is like eight months old, but let me tell you, I've been using it from time to time just to see, cause I like to see if the buttons fail, you know, devices like this, you just need to know if the button or any of the electrical components on the inside are going to fail. And it has not failed on me. So this is American Box Mod, ABM. Okay? You can see the logo right there, ABM. Very nicely finished. Never gets ruined. The clear coat has not gotten ruined. And the button, it's not clicky. It's a push button. So it's a push inward. But I like this a lot. For a parallel box, it's very nice as far as like electrical components go. It's been working really well and it's been lasting for quite a while. So that is a really nice box mod as well. And 
I got a few other ones up my sleeve that I'm still going to be reviewing. I'm still going to be reviewing the Leaning Tree box mod. This is the 200 watt DNA 200. Beautiful box mod. I mean, this box is gorgeous. This is up and coming for a review. I've been using eScribe. I've been learning how to use eScribe effectively with the DNA chip. And that box, you know, works with it as well. So... It's a great box, and we'll be talking about that one soon. They just recently dropped their prices over at Leaning Tree Box Mod, so definitely check them out. So that's my mech mod collection as far as vape mail goes and upcoming videos that I have up and coming. So just be patient. Stay tuned. Things are going to happen. You just got to give me a chance to use the devices, you know. I really have to use the devices to really let you guys know because you're not going to want to spend $300 on a, on a device if you get a hot button or something is about it that you don't like. You don't like the threads. You don't like the throw. You don't like this. You don't like that. You know, 300 bucks is a lot of money. You know, a lot of mechanical mods I review are 200 150 but for the most part, they're like 300 400 and 500 dollars. You're not going to want to spend that much money. And you're not going to want me to do a review every week so you can sit there and make a list of all the mech mods you want to buy. You want to you, you buy a mech mod, use it for a short time, sell it in a group somewhere, and then get another one. That's what mainly people do with mechanical tube mods. They buy them, they trade them, they buy them, they sell them. That's it, you know. So for me to YouTube, peace out, like, comment, and subscribe. I'm out of here. Laters. Fucking dragon. Woo.